Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to another Fresh Paint Live with Kelly Weiler. So glad to see y'all rolling in. Hello, Michelle. Happy Friday to you too. Um, if you're brand new here, my name's Kelly Weiler. This is Girl Upcycled Studio. We are located about an hour east of Columbus, and I absolutely love it when I can meet all of you and see your faces in the flesh. So if you do happen to be in the Columbus, Ohio area, and you're coming through on the east side of 70 from there, please stop in and say hello. Um, if you do come in, make sure you message me so that I don't miss you, okay? We are starting to open back up here, so we're kind of excited. Our town is trying to get back to um, some normalcy. So it's kind of exciting and um, I can't wait to see your faces. Hello, Karen. Hello, hello, everybody. All right, so what I'm gonna do today, I know um, some of you that have followed me for a minute, you have watched me do quite a few of these um, and I have a lot of catching up to do. Um, so I thought I would come live and I would paint some of my postcards live. Um, these are watercolor postcards. Um, these, you could also do acrylic paints on this. Um, the watercolor paper is simply, it is thick paper. Can you hear it? And that is simply so that when you wet it down with the brush and the paint, the edges are not going to curl on you. Okay, so that's why that's thicker. Um, I normally sell these. I am currently, I believe I'm sold out. I will be getting more in, um, but you can find these online as well. Um, and I highly recommend it. This is something that we have been doing in the Creators Club for quite a while now. And everybody has been sending each other um, the postcards and they've been doing their own artwork on it and sending them out as a surprise. So this morning, and I've been getting tons of them from some of the ladies in there. And so I need to get busy and so that I can get some sent back out to them in return. Um, this morning, I got a new one. Look how pretty. This is from Sandy Honeycutt from Troy's Painted Treasures. So pretty. So she did that artwork herself. It looks like maybe she did some stamping and some, looks like she did some layered blending on the bottom and then stamping over top of that and then added some glitter. So it's really fun. And then in the inside it says, uh, Bay Mermaid, swim fast, wear a crown and dream big. An ocean breeze puts a mind at ease. The ocean roar is music to the soul. And then it says, for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. And that is a verse from Matthew 6, 21. And then she has a little personal note in there as well. I love it. And I have thoroughly enjoyed, isn't it pretty? Um, I thoroughly enjoyed each and every little piece of art that has come in from each of the ladies in there. And so I just thought I'd hang out and get caught up on a little bit. Hello, Miss Ashley. And uh, paint a few of those with all of you today. Um, these are just postcards. They're four by six inches, um, acid free. And I'm gonna get a few of them out here. I'm behind, so I've gotten quite a few of these. <laughs> I need to step it up. They've been so patient though. They are all like, we know. You've got a lot going on, but not any more than anyone else. So I can't use that as an excuse, guys. So I'm going to get quite a few out flat, and then I'm going to do some kind of like fun little abstract background. And then we'll just kind of see um, whenever I paint freestyle like this, I kind of like to get the colors on there and kind of like let it tell me where it wants to go, so to speak, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, Ashley says, I was just thinking about making postcards today. Get on it, girl. Ashley, I'm so excited. Um, our little town is a hustling and a bustling. So it's exciting to see. I'm going to use Old 57, of course, because you know I'm going to use it. So I may as well just put it out on my plate. I'm also going to put a little bit of cake batter out. Um, what else do I want to use? Let's do a little bit of Hey Sailor. Oh, 
doesn't want to come out. Hold on. So this is Debbie's Design Diary DIY clay based paint. And I'm not sure is the, does it look really dark to you? The camera, let me come back and maybe it'll lighten up. That looks a little bit better already. Somebody says marquee. Um, Ashley says, I know the downtown flowers got planted today. They did. Oh my goodness, I did not even notice and I went across the Y bridge and maybe they're not up on the bridge yet, but I didn't even notice. I just went through Main Street, so um, so maybe they weren't on that area yet. And I'll have to take note of that. It's exciting. Um, hey, Sailor. Um, cake batter, old 57. Um, let's use a little salty kiss. Um, a little dark. Yeah, well, I don't know what's up with that. Let me pull my light in a little closer. I need to rearrange my uh, table that I crea create on, so I may be doing that. Um, so the next time you see me, it may be in a different location, which isn't a bad idea because it's kind of a mess here. Salty kiss. So let's start off with those colors for right now and see, let's just see what happens. Want to? Um, let me grab my water. Oh, goodness. Hold on, guys. I forgot my water. It's over here. Grab it real quick. Buckets of water. So I will be ordering more of these postcards. They went really quick this time. So I think because of the um, lockdown, everybody was just kind of like really longing for some, um, a little bit of human connection there, right? Okay, I'm just grabbing a brush here. No rhyme or reason. Um, this is a number 12 brush. Um, and let's just have a little fun. Now, the DIY paints, mind you, are very highly pigmented. You can really actually water these down and use these pretty much as a watercolor. Okay, I'm going to raise the camera a little bit. That might be why the light's going. So you can use this as a watercolor. Um, those of you in the Creators Club, I will be teaching that um, pretty soon. Water, watercolor classes. I'm not um, an expert by any means of watercolor, but I do know a little bit about it and um, it's very, very fun. It's very intuitive. Um, we talk about the intuitive style of painting and it is very intuitive because you are kind of at the mercy of the water right? You can slightly control it. And there's some little tricks and tips to that. Uh, my mother-in-law, she is actually a very, very skilled watercolor artist. And I, I wish she would do more of her art. She has not been doing very much lately. Um, this is, um, her name's Lee Weiler, if she's out there big hello to her, but she's an amazing watercolor artist. Um, and, uh, so I, I've learned a little bit from her and then just, of course, there's all kinds of videos and whatnot out there too, but, um, it's a beautiful process and it is a very intuitive process where you do have to kind of like let go just a little bit of the control, so to speak. I'm going to dip into some yellow. 
but we are just using the clay base paint. And I'm just kind of putting in underpainting here pretty much. That's what I'm going to call it. The first layers. I do have a little bit of the copyright free music running just to kind of freak up any background noise in case it occurs. So think about when you're mixing those uh, colors together, you're, you're mixing a little bit of this yellow into that blue and it's making a really beautiful soft uh, green shade, which is going to be kind of fun. So how are you all doing in your hometowns? Are you all getting back to normal anyway? Um, missed you, missed your creators, club girls. We missed you, Deborah. How are you? Haven't talked to you in a minute. Are y'all starting to get some kind of back to some life again? So you can kind of see this one versus the first one. This is more like what a watercolor would look like. If you turn the DIY paint into a watercolor, it would be more like that versus like this where I have it more of a stronger, you know, more tinted background. So that means I had less water in that one. Yes, back to normal, more normal, more normal, it seems, in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Crazy traffic, yes. Um, Karen says she's been watching watercolor videos on YouTube. It's a beautiful way to paint. It really, really is. Seriously. Phase two begins tomorrow here in Vegas. Not sure what it is all about, but churches for sure. Cool. Very cool. That's good. I mean, we, we have to. We can't stay locked up, guys. That's seriously not. This is not healthy for anybody, is it? I'm going to dip into some of my green. I've got salty kiss. Soften the edges if you want to. See how I'm softening the edges? Pulling the edges out so that it kind of runs together. Okay. These are great little, little gifts for people that are stuck in the house. There are people that will still be stuck at their home, okay? That is, people that are high risk are probably gonna be a little um, leery to come out. So the elderly, the people that have some health issues. So this is a great idea, you guys, to send to them. Of course, making sure your hands are clean and all that before you start. Um, but what a wonderful gift and a surprise that you could do, send to them just by, um, you know, doing a little, painting, right? Be a great surprise and a great outlet. And I'm just kind of no rhyme or reason. These I kind of consider doodles a little bit, kind of like doodling. I thought we would get the base coat on here. And I'm just gonna do these all throughout the class today and see how far I get. So it's been kind of fun being able to come live every day. Um, for those of you that have missed my other lives, I have been live, gosh, I don't know what my count is on, I don't know what day I'm on, but I'm doing a marathon 
every day for 30 days. And I don't know, I may go beyond that. We'll see how I feel um, when this is all said and done. So I love just the abstract finish that we're getting off of that. You could certainly leave it that way. There's really no rules to say that you have to do a cohesive, like, um, you know, something that is, uh, that you can kind of see as a flower or see as a illustrative art, right? It doesn't have to be any of that if you don't want it to be. You can just leave it as, as abstract and then you could do like some lettering on it or just leave it as that and, you know, that would be good too. Absolutely love your lives. Thanks, Patricia. I absolutely love seeing your little face pop up. Hello, d -Hub from over on YouTube. So happy to meet all of my new YouTube friends. I am meeting so many wonderful people here on YouTube, and I am just thrilled. Thrilled, thrilled, thrilled. Y'all have been wonderful. And putting up with the... Uh, just me learning all the things that have to be done and the ways ways that they have to be done on YouTube. It's a little bit different, but I am learning and y'all are so patient with me and I so appreciate that. Hello there, Joe Larson from South Dakota over on YouTube. She says, I'm one of those people. I'm sick with a flu bug. Anyway, I'd love to see you paint more hats. I almost came on and painted hats today. She says, those are scary to me as I'm a detail artist. I have two hats to paint, and so that will be coming up very soon. I don't know if it'll be tomorrow, um, so we'll have to you know, wait and see. Look how pretty that looks, just like by itself, right? Okay, that's that. So let's change up the color sequence a little bit with these other ones. And it's kind of nice if you do a few at, at the same time, they can kind of be drying. I love um, just doing little, quick little paintings like this, though. It's kind of, let's, let's do some Hay Sailor. It's just kind of a nice change. I'm used to doing a lot of the bigger painting, so this is kind of a nice change. So that's Hey Sailor. And let's do a little bit over here. And you can change the way your brush is going to kind of make it a little more abstract. You can change the value of it. You want to make it darker, you want to make it lighter. You can all of those things work together. Okay, there's that. <laughs> Dip into my yellow again. It is Friday here today. Anybody you have special plans for the weekend? Because we do have Memorial Weekend coming up. And I don't know if people are planning things or I think um, they're saying we're allowed to have, you can have legally like a 10, 10 people together is kind of what they're saying right now. So how are you all feeling about that? Are you all feeling comfortable to do that or, or not? I feel comfortable with that. I'm just not sure, um, you know, about a person that maybe is high risk, if they would, and I don't blame them. So and I think that is the biggest thing right now is to not judge others for the way they feel and the way they are living their life during this. Um, we're all different. We're all unique. We all have different ways of thinking about 
things, okay? So um, that's something that um, I try to stay off of my main Facebook page and, and main sites like that because, just, I don't know, it just doesn't seem like there's a lot of tolerance for um, people that think differently than, you know, like if somebody has a different thought, it's just like... Um, it's just like dealing with people that have different ways of um, the way they have, like religion or politics. It's their right, and we need to remember that, you guys. Everybody has a right to their own thought and their own way of looking at things. It's not right or wrong. It's just their way, and it's your way, right? Um... Joe says those would be really cute with a little stamp on them. That's That would be really cute. Yeah, Patricia, you're so right. Some people get downright rude. It is true. I've seen it. I just, it makes me cringe. Okay, let's do, um, let's do a little salty back in here. It, I just don't understand it. I don't get it. You know, we're, that's the good thing about being in America is we have the right to think differently, right? It's a wonderful place to be. So we don't, we don't want to go backwards in time to where we don't have rights anymore, you know? We want to go back. Oh, this is pretty. Look at that one. Oh, goodness. Hold on. I got to plug my, my computer in. I agree. Teresa says I stay off my regular Facebook. Yeah, it's like I'm seeing people that are even related that are getting, like, just really getting kind of nasty. And I'm like, oh, okay, time to leave. <laughs> okay, let me, um, let me get plugged in real quick. I'll go let that dry. Hey, at least I remembered to bring it today. Yesterday, you guys remember my husband had to bring my charger <laughs> to me. Oh. Plug in. And then we'll get busy on these. Let's see. Let's do, let's do a little bit of. Yes, there's no, there's so much other stuff going on. Why a stank stirring? <laughs> I love that word, stank stirring. I know. It's just, you know, it's a choice, guys. It is a choice. Okay? It all comes down to that. You can choose to live a life of peace. Or you can choose to um, let let hate overcome you. And that's not really who we are inside, you know, when we let that part come out. That's not really who we are. So why why give it why give it any uh, power? You know. All right, I'm liking it. So now what? I'm liking it. Now what I want to do, I've got some, I'm just pulling little pictures up and little things. You can get on Pinterest and just get um, little photographs and ideas and see if I want to do, I feel like I want to keep, let's just do some abstracty stuff. Let me see what's the driest one. This one's dry. Okay. Let's just have some fun. I'm gonna dip into my. I'm gonna use my finger here a little bit, and just. And if 
I don't like it, right? I'm just. Just redo it. I'm going to see what happens. I think it kind of looks like a, a woman with a maybe her hair in a bun of some sort, let's just say. Does it kind of look like a woman, a woman shape? Yes, and there is so, okay, I already read that. Jelly, my internet is wacky on my home computer. Did you just call me Jelly? <laughs> I'm teasing you, Michelle. You can call me Jelly. You can call me Jelly any old time. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Oh good. Let's see. So it kind of looks like Let's see. Just trying to get a feel for what this is. Maybe this is a arm. So it's kind of fun to do with your finger. Jelly jelly. <laughs> Let's see. Oh no. Change this angle just a little bit. Now, kind of looks like a figure of some sort. Not hating it. Okay, let's let that dry. Let's do another one. I'm gonna do another shape. Let's see what this one is. Let me find one that's dry. Yeah, a little bit. Well, just that part, just this part. The rest I did with a with a brush. Just a little bit. <laughs> I can't. I can't help it. You know how it is, girl. Yours was beautiful last night. Your your painting you did, Dion, was gorgeous. Just gorgeous. I'm using Hey Sailor to get this kind of silhouette and guys, I don't know what this one's going to be. Just the right colors, it's 
sounds much to help find the real estate. Entertain Moisture Heater Plants. You can discover the possibilities and you know how to get started on your home. Or on any Let's see what this one kind of turned out to be. What's it look like? Kind of looks like they have a little hat on, maybe. A little hat. I'm thinking. Again, you guys, this is Hey Sailor that I'm using. Let's see. Let's have this one out. That's what that little silhouette is looking like. Am I still closed? Um, you know, I, I've been doing my lives at two, so I've just been kind of doing most of my stuff online. Legally, I can be open. So um, if it's really nice out and there's a lot of people out there, I'll open up the doors and, and all that good stuff. So, so I kind of am open. I've been open through the whole thing, just doing like curb pickup and, and that sort of thing. And it's actually working out really well. So, gosh, I like that one, you guys. Look at the, look at the difference. I love doing these little silhouettes. They're a lot of fun. Let's keep going. I'm going to let that dry. How about you, Dion? Are you, is your um, retail place that you sell at, is it open now or what's the story with that? I would love to shop there. It looks amazing, by the way. I forget the name of it, you guys. What's the name of it? Michelle, I should probably put it on there. I would love to shop there. It looks amazing. It looks really big too. All right, let's see what this one is, guys. One, two. I think it's just kind of fun to play and kind of see. That's what's good about um, when you do these little kind of doodles like this. Um, it's kind of fun because you can kind of just, you don't have to overthink it too much, you know. Reclaim Warehouse. She was able to open May 1st. That's awesome. Yeah, so I probably, what I'm going to do, um, when I get done with the live, I'll probably just put the sign up. I just kind of, I've been keeping my lives going, girl. Oh, let's put a thick neck on that one. Let me do that. Okay. But if you kind of spread your fingers out like that, you can kind of make a tush, a bit of a tushy. The ladies that get these postcards are going to be like, what did she send me? <laughs> I don't, if I don't like it, I don't have to send it. But this one's kind of fun. Let's see these arms out. Wow, that's a tush. Tushy, right? Maybe got back, I guess. Could be a man, I guess. Hmm. I might not send that one in the mail. That might not be too appropriate, <laughs> but it was fun to do. Are they index cards? They are watercolor postcards. I normally have these in stock. 
So I'm getting more in. I usually sell these, um, but they've been doing really well because, okay, Dion, thank you for saying hello. I so appreciate that, seeing your face pop in here. But these are, um, they did really well since the quarantine. So it's been just a great way to keep connected. Um, and it's a, just a, a nice little, just to let people know that you're thinking of them and they get a little piece of handmade art from you. And I have thoroughly enjoyed all the little postcards that I've gotten in from some of the ladies in the Creators Club. It's been so much fun. Okay, let's see. Let's, let's do this again. Let's see. Oh, that one's kind of cool. Maybe just a little silhouette of a, it's like a lady maybe with a dress or a skirt on and kind of sashaying. She goes down the street, right? That's my take on that. I like that one too. Well, three out of four is not too bad. I like three of them. We'll keep going. Did you finish the third intuitive floral from yesterday? Wait, from yesterday, I did a leaf yesterday. Oh, I know what you're talking about. The abstract. Looks like a fashion runway scene. It does, right? Uh, or Paris Boulevard. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like that. Um, no, I did not get the third floor, abstract floral, the one, the palette knife painting. And I didn't want to do it live because I figured y'all were like tired of seeing that. <laughs> so I didn't want to do another one <laughs> on here with all of you. So I thought, well, I'll just get on here and do these little postcards. They're a lot of fun. So some of you that are in the Creators Club will get one of these. And you know, I'm not even looking to see if they're right side up. I don't know if there is a right side up. I think it matters. Okay, let's do, let's do another one and see what happens. So you really get, have a lot of fun with this depending on the movement of it, right? So this one, she kind of looks like she has a bun in her hair, maybe. Let's just kind of make it that way. Oops, got a little bit too much paint. That's, I like that one. That one might be my favorite one. I don't even know why I'm doing this. I didn't really plan on this, to be honest. I kind of was thinking I'd be painting <laughs> some kind of colorful. I don't know. Abstract something. I guess it is abstract, but. I 
did not really plan this. So there's that. I think that one might be my favorite. Very curious to see the collection. Oh, you want to see the two together? They're they're in the background. Do you see them? Right, like right there. I kind of like the the bum on that one. Kind of looks like it's sticking out a little bit. It's kind of fun. All right. Should I do another one? I'm gonna add some more probably little touches of color and stuff to this too. Why not, right? Let's see what this one wants to be. It's just fun, you guys. Give it a try if you've not tried it and the DIY paint gang you don't have to you don't really have to worry you can get your fingers right into it or there's no smell or anything so if you, I know I've talked to some of you that so you you have uh, allergies or whatnot let's do this one like Some more movement on this one just for fun. Oh, it kind of looks like a tutu, doesn't it? You notice like how I was like going really fast back and forth with my fingers how it put that movement in there. That's, that's really kind of fun. Let's do like, let's do it. Since it kind of looks like she's dancing. Let's see if we can make it look like her Her arms are up over her head a little bit. The muscular arms. I don't know what just happened there, but I don't know. Okay. One reason I want to order. Yeah, you've been asking about it for a while. You should give it a try. Um, just buy one little tub of it. Um, you know, buy something that you think you would use, I need to make her arm, her legs a little longer, um, in a little tub. The tubs are just $13, so it's not a big expense, and uh, I can ship it right out to you. Yeah. All right. Should we put a little color into it? Need some warmth. So if you notice, so right now in order um, to keep my colors from getting muddy and dirty, you hear artists talk about um, how do you paint and how do you keep your colors from getting dirty and muddy. Um, so you just simply like this. I used all cool tones and just a little touch of yellow, but yellow mixes, you know, in with the blue okay. So if it mixes with something okay, you know you're going to be fine. Um, so that's how you kind of, that's just kind of like a good way as a beginner to remember that without overthinking it. You don't have to overthink it. So if you just think of what the basics are, um, as far as color mixing, um, you can keep your colors separated that way. So I've got all my cool colors here. So now this is dry. 
Now I can go ahead and I can throw a little bit of warmth on top of it. So if I want to add a little bit of maybe red touches or orange touches, um, some of the pink fuchsias, you can add a little bit um, of that warmth over top of this. So that's just a super, super easy way for you to remember. Would you coat them? Yes, I would put big top over top of this after I'm done with it. I'm going to seal them. Um, after they're sealed, I'll sign it too. I always sign my little postcards and I'll seal it. And then on the back, you just put your little stamp and then I write a little message, put their address on there and pop it in the mail. And away it goes. Easy peasy, huh? All right. So what color for warmth? Do we want something bright like fire starter? Do we want more of a somewhat like a red color? I've got some acrylic master's touch or I've got marquee. I've got fuchsia. You know, I'm going to use fuchsia. So I may as well put a little dab on, on the plate. I'll just put a little dab on there. Now, if something happens and my fuchsia uh, mixes with some of the blue, it'll kind of end up being a little bit of a purpley tone, which I'm okay with. Um, yeah. All right. Maybe let's use a little knife. Oops, a little too much on there, but that's all right. Just kind of adding little touches to it. Kind of fun, huh? Orange or pink? Kissing booth. <laughs> Let's grab some fire starter too. Let's see. Let's You could totally, if I wanted to, I could go right in with my finger with this as well. I'm just using this a little bit thicker than I originally was. Okay. Still no touches of that color. I love painting like this. Just, it's very relaxing. Adding that warmth. So that warmth that we're putting on is just kind of adding some highlights, but only it's all the highlights and the color is just kind of giving it a shadow. Not a lot of detail, guys. Um, one thing I noticed, you know, when I am teaching people, um, um, Okay, is it about two weeks for shipping? If if you get your order in, I try to ship it out pretty quickly. So um, some of the ladies on here that have ordered from me, have you gotten it pretty quick? I wouldn't think it would be two weeks. Sometimes it takes me to get, to get it in in two weeks' time or longer because it's 
you know, it's coming from the factory, so it take, might take a little longer. But anyway, some something that I noticed um, when since I've been teaching, um, a lot of people get hung up by the little tiny details, okay? The little tiny minute details, they get stuck, they get frustrated, they keep going over and over and over it again. I can't get it right, they say. I can't, you know, it's not happening, I can't get it right. Stop focusing on the the detail the tiny minute details okay so this literally you can tell what this is you can you can look at this and you can tell this is a figure of a person a woman um you don't have to get like every single little nook and cranny um down so yeah oh heather Heather says she got her super quick. So, yeah, that's good. I do try to get it out pretty fast, gang. So, anyway, um, just a little tip for you. Be kind to yourself. And, uh, you know, just know, you guys, you, you don't have to overthink it all the time. Don't overthink it. Right. Just pick my little knife back up. Scrape a little bit. I don't know if I should put hair on these. I'm kind of liking this bright orange so far. Kind of pops on top of that blue, doesn't it? Let's get in there with my fingers again. Why not? That one's looking like. Which one's your favorite so far? That's okay. You don't have to like any of them either. You won't hurt my feelings. Because, you know, you can't be everybody's cup of tea, right? It's just not possible. I overthink everything, but we learn. Absolutely. For sure, for sure. Um, what else could I do? Let's do let's try coral. Oh, I saw a coral. Okay, I guess I won't try coral. Tutu. You like the tutu? Awesome. It's lightening up a little bit as it dries. You can see, but when I seal it, it'll deepen back up. This guy doesn't have any hands. Hmm. I wonder what he's doing. Or she.
So I don't know if that's maybe the back side or side, I don't know. That one's kind of weird, but it is what it is. Like I said, it looks like he has a little bit of a hat on. Kind of looks like a manly body, but it has a big caboose. <laughs> has been very relaxing today <laughs> it's kind of fun all right we got another one here this is the one with the big tush um what is happening hold on I'm not sure what just happened to my screen hold on gang did i lose you there you are okay um hi joan i can't draw people well, just try what i did today and see if you can just work on an abstract shape rather than um, going in and doing like the, the details of an eye or the nose and, and things like that. Just try to get these little, I do these little fun little abstract shapes maybe first and then go from there. How are we doing on time? We are at, ooh, we're at 56 minutes. That has flew by you guys. Um, I'm just not sure if I want to add some hair to these guys, to some of them, or what I want to do. Let's use the rest of this. There have been some just amazing uh, projects that people have been doing since the virus has hit, don't you think? Then um, one of the good things about it, I guess, is watching and seeing some amazing creations and just, yeah. It kind of looks like a man. And it could be. It's like he's looking sideways a little bit. So, hmm. But anyway, I have a good start here. I feel like, I feel like I have a really good start for some little, Little things I can put out there. Should I should I put hair on these guys? Just can't even decide. I think I want to use some brighter green if I do anything. Oops. Let's just kind of see what happens. Sorry about that, guys. Just adding some green. Since this wasn't my favorite one, I thought I would do a little trial with him. <laughs> it's not my favorite. I may not send this one out. I don't like putting my fingers in this paint as much. I mean, it's nice and smooth, but I just don't think it's quite as healthy. Yeah, I don't know. 
I don't think I like this one. This is my least favorite, so he may not get sent. Your Goodwill opened up. Yay! I know, our restore opened. I might head, I might just head up to the restore real quick. And, uh, and I have book work to do today, so the not so fun stuff, but I gotta get my sales tax put in and the not so fun stuff, but it was so much fun hanging out with you guys. Remember, if you guys love just learning things and seeing art created, I would love to hang out with you guys. So make sure that you hit the subscribe button on YouTube and hit the little bell so they get notified. And as always, I'll be back at 2 o'clock tomorrow because I'm still on this live marathon. I'm not sure how many days I have left, but I think I'm about halfway through. But um, it's been fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Yeah, it was something different, wasn't it, Tammy? Thanks for hanging out. And uh, if you catch this on the replay later on, uh, make sure you comment down below in the comment section there on YouTube. And I will answer any questions that you have, um, whether it's, you know, art related, product related, or any of that. I'm here to help. Okay. Thanks so much for hanging out. I'll see you all tomorrow, two o'clock. All right. Bye.